What is up YouTube? Welcome back to a whole nother YouTube video guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a simple and an amazing looking GUI on Roblox. Now before we hop into this video guys, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on those post notifications, press that like button, and comment down below your username because I will be doing a Roblox robux giveaway shortly so guys basically what you want to do is you want i will be putting my links to everything you want to have in the description below but first what you guys want to do is go into start a gui which you guys can find over here and just import click this little button here and import a screen gui after you do that you can name that main gui now once you do that you want to install a frame into here Soon, you could, we're gonna do a simple welcome GUI and we're gonna make it look amazing, guys. Just for you guys. So, yeah, so this is the GUI that we are using here. We are gonna wanna go to our plugins and you, I'll put the link to this plugin right here. You wanna use this plugin, it's the interface tools here. So, once you guys get it, you just wanna drag it down a little bit, you can bring it over here. We are going to get a frame here. We're gonna use Burr Pink. Go close that put that in here simple as that and then we can just drag that like that now as, you guys, now as you guys can see there is a black outline now if you want to remove the black outline you can simply go into the frame go to the border size pixel and put that at zero and now there shall be no um thing like the black outline so once you guys do that we will also be adding a little line so you guys are going to, want to go back to the same plugin interface plugins and we're going to get a button as well here so let's get a button here we're going to use this one for this video wait, wait, wait. okay okay so this is the button here import that into here and yes so we're going to drag that over here and we're going to simply just widen it a little bit so we can make it look better and we'll put that at the bottom here we'll put that at the bottom here oh well we can put the words play and i like using the font gotham black i think that's how you pronounce it you want to put it on scaled as usual and boom you got your button there here so what you guys also want to be able to do is you want to add a text so in order to get a text in there just do this and add a text label once you have the text label, you guys can put it up here wherever you want to put it. And I like putting the transparency to 1 because that just makes it so you can't see the background, which makes it look a 100 times better, guys. And yeah, so once you do that, you can put like welcome to Bloxburg. We'll do Bloxburg for an example here. Bloxburg. I don't know if I spelled it right. I'm pretty sure I did spell it right. But in case, in the, um, case I did not, disregard. Okay, so... You guys just want to widen this up here and bring that up here just like that. And then what you guys want to do is you guys want to scale the text and you want to add a different font, which has got the black, which I like. Welcome to Bloxburg. And then we can add a different little thing here. Now, if you want to add what I'm going to add, you could just do this, comp, um, duplicate it, and then we can put it into here, guys. And now what we do is we put a little border in here and booyakasha. We have we have a little outline here. Now if you wanted to if you want to get the show up, because as you guys can see, if I click here it's not there. All you have to do is go to the frame <clears throat> the frame, type in Z index, and we can put that at two here. Oh no, it might need to be three here, so we'll put like ten. Just for the example here. Um Okay, so it's not working. Um, let's figure this out here. Oh, because it's a frame. Okay. So, it has to go here, guys. Um, hmm. Interesting. It's not showing up, so we'll just add a text button. You can also use the text button. It is basically the same thing. Just a little bit different, guys. So, do not worry about that here. So, we can just do text button. And we can do that. And we can bring it here as a divider now for temporarily you guys can just do this 
and make it the size you want it to be. And once you do that, then you can bring it up like that, and boom. As you can see that it is white, and if you guys want to change that, all you have to do is go here and go down to the text and just delete the text. And also, put everything at white if you are going to change the color to white. So yes, everything has to be at white, guys, nothing else nothing else now once you do that it, you guys can see we have a divider now you guys want well you guys could just duplicate the text label and we can easily just get a whole another text label which is easy all you have to do is click ctrl c and then ctrl p or just right click copy and paste now we can be like hey now we're gonna put like a little commentary so hey Thanks for joining Bloxburg. If you, if you want to support us, you you can can follow us at on Twitter at Bloxburg Beta. Now we're just gonna use that for an example here. So, we'll uh, add that up here, and here we go. And we can also duplicate the button here, and we can bring that back down here. Alright, so now once you do that, you can duplicate the text, the text once again, the text label, and we can just bring that down here like this. And then we can do another little commentary thing. Join the Roblox group, Bloxburg, well, I'll put lowercase, Berg fans, for a 50% bonus on your job ch cash checks. Now, this can be used to help people join your group and stuff, which makes it very amazing. Now, if you guys want to do a little special little touch that I like to do I'll show you guys how to do that so you guys can just duplicate the frame once you duplicate the frame you want to delete all this very simple and then you want to change whatever the frame is so as you can see if you drag it out it's going to be like this so you can easily just go like this and then like this and then you can install a corner which roblox just recently recently added which makes it cornered and then you guys can go back to the plugin here interface tools get a different gradient and i like this gradient so we can be using this gradient here now once that is in you guys can just bring that and drag and drop that guys and then we can drag and drop that here and boom well it would look a little bit better here so let's get another ui corner here and we will drag that down here and boom ya kasha we have our amazing gui guys if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you guys press that subscribe button like comment below what you guys want to see next and if you guys want to see more tutorial videos like this one click that like button and comment down below if you do want to see more videos like this now i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching and peace out